If you are interested in creating your website, I highly recommend iPage. Uh, this is the page on Surfix where you can view, view some tutorials about Weebly and some of the other things that are available through iPage, like installing WordPress. If you click on iPage here, okay, if you get to iPage here, I'm going to show you the basics on the front home page. So the reason I recommend iPage is you really get a great value. You get your free domain name, you get your security suite, you get your site building tools like Weebly and WordPress, you get a free online store if that's what you're seeking to build, you get free search engine and marketing credits, and it's powered by 100% wind energy, which is nice. You get Google AdWords, so you get $100 at Google AdWords. You get a $50 credit. Um, this is similar to AdWords. It's basically their advertising for Bing and Yahoo, which Bing is Microsoft. You get a $50 Facebook advertising credit. The $50 Facebook advertising credit is probably the best value of any of these. It's extremely targeted. And when you get someone to like a page from a Facebook advertisement credit, it really changes your business because now they're on your page and, and every time you post something, there's potential to reach out to them. So it's very similar to having them join a mailing list, except for people check their Facebook a little differently than they check their email. Email, it's more likely to be filtered into spam. Facebook, it tends to be in their feed somewhere and they're more likely to see it than a, a filtered email that went through the spam folder. Some of these other things, if you use them, they're cool. Just Cloud and Shop Site. Obviously, WordPress is amazing and comes with it. And Site Lock, which is security. We talked a little bit about these credits. You also get a free yellowpages.com listing and some other analytics tools. You have your photo gallery, online store, secure FTP. I use FileZilla for editing my FTP. The security suite information, the support suite, which their support is amazing. You can use live chat and get a great tech support agent via live chat by just typing in some text. And if it's too difficult for them to fix your problem over chat, they'll send it to a, a tech agent who will look at your site and look at your problem and get back to you over email. If you already have a site, you can transfer your site pretty easily. And it includes unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, and free domain registration along with these other features. You can host unlimited domains and you can create unlimited websites. I mean, uh, and websites obviously, but you can create unlimited email accounts. So I'm gonna show you that now. I'm going to take you into the back end. When you log into iPage, it takes you to your dashboard or control panel. The sites that you use the most will be at the top, and the rest of your stuff will be down here below. If you want to register the domain name that you got when you purchased it, you would click on Register Domain. If you want to view the domains you have, you click on Domain Central. If you're going to edit a website, you would need to take and have it point to your subdirectory. So with iPage, it needs to point to forward slash, for in this case, certfix.com. Otherwise, the very first domain that you register is where everything will point to. Once you have this installed, you can go install WordPress. You install WordPress by clicking on WordPress or installing in Simple Scripts. If you do not see your WordPress, then you may have to start here. Simple Scripts has become Mojo Marketplace now. So by clicking on Mojo Marketplace, it'll take you to install your WordPress.
these are all sites that I'm currently working on, so don't worry about that. You should not have an error like this, but if you do, just click on to explore. Click on one click installs and click on WordPress. Click on install and then choose the domain that you wish. Check domain. I really don't think I have anything on this in West Tampa Bay, so we're going to continue. I'm going to change all of this information so none of it really matters to me right now. Okay, so when you get to this page, this is the Mojo Marketplace. They're going to try to upsell you stuff. You don't need any of this stuff. Click the exit. This is your progress bar. And these are themes and things like that that you can choose to purchase if you want. But I'm going to show you ways that you don't have to pay these fees. Give it just a moment to finish installing all of the information it needs to install. Okay, your install is complete. I clicked on view and it gave me another pop-up. Don't need any of that. No. So now that it's installed, you should be able to view your WordPress page. It should be installed on your website in Vest Tampa Bay com slash WP dash admin. Great. It loaded WordPress. Your login credentials that you created while you were creating it, it would have given you your email and your password there, and that was the part where I said, I'm going to change all this later, so it doesn't really matter. That's where you would put all of your credentials. You can change those kinds of things, lost your password, it'll email the email address that you had listed when you created your WordPress blog. So you can use that to log in here. And then in another video, I'll show you how to upload a theme and really program your WordPress a little differently. But this proves that it did install correctly, and you can click on Back to my great WordPress blog to see what it looks like by itself without any theme updates. So this is an example of the Weebly template that I created before. The reason you would see something like this is if it wasn't pointed correctly and the easy fix for that is the way that I showed you in the beginning where you are in your uh, dashboard so we'll be clicking and fixing that in just a moment. Here we are back at Domain Central. We're going to change our pointers for Invest Tampa Bay to a subdirectory, investtampabay.com, and save. OK, I went through the whole situation of installing WordPress again on this page after routing the pointers as I showed you earlier, and this is what I get. So this is the very basics of your website. Whenever you want to update your, your theme and everything else, you would go to your uh, login page slash WP dash admin. There you have it. Now you can log in, make updates, and install new plugins and themes. So I hope this tutorial for iPage was helpful. It's re I just wanted to show you how fast you could get started once you've signed up. That's how fast you just created your website. Now it's all about updating it and making it gorgeous. 
most of the web pages that I've created use WordPress. So if you're interested in starting a website, I really think you should consider iPage, but especially WordPress, just because it's so easy. Editing a blog post or a page is, there's no coding required, but you may want to hire someone on Odesk to get it all set up for you. So the basics are all there and there's no headaches. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me at joanna at certfix.com and I'd be happy to help you out.